What to do, YouTube? It's your girl Marty fucking P reporting live from the motherfucking um, bathroom. This is my fucking show. Sorry. Hey, trouble in my life. Trouble in my life. Problems when you don't come home at night. So we do. We always start a fire. And I can't be alone. I need you to come back home. I know you're messing around. But who the hell is it's gonna hold me down? Ooh, gonna be out my mind. You think it's gonna work this time? Part of me wants to leave. But the other side still believes And it kills me To know how much I really love you So much I wanna Should I win it now? Call this kid up Start some shit they hang up, or could I be his lady? Oh, baby, but I want to have his baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I this is my shit. Let me turn it down. Sorry, I just needed some music to uh, calm me down. But anyway, whew, I wanted to get on the tube so bad yesterday. Because a nigga like me had a horrible day. And let me start off by saying things that I hate. Don't you hate when the bottom of my socks get wet? That is so nasty. Like, when people get out the bathtub and don't put a rug or a towel down, and they just get out with their wet feet. Ugh. That's fucking nasty. I'm on that Mike F shit. I'm like the old woman on the toilet. Boop, boop, boop. Ashing in the toilet and shit. Legs all gapped open. TMI, but... Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. But let's get to yesterday. 9 12, no, 11 12 09 to be exact. So, as y'all know, I have, I had got a job, right? I've been, I worked it since August 31st until yesterday. Nigga gotta be at work at 6 a.m. to 2 30. So I get up, regular schedule alarm goes off 4 15. I snooze till about 4 30, you know? Prepare the day, whatever, whoopie woo. Get out the house, driving, make it damn near halfway to work, and I get harassed and pulled over by a fucking fat ass. I'm officially fucking the police, y'all. I fucking hate the police. Like, I get pulled over. First time I'm ever hostile with the police, because usually a nigga like me is paranoid and scared because I'm not legit. You know, usually it's something wrong, license suspended, no insurance. It's something, you know. It's usually they catch me at a bad time. But this time, you know, how a nigga feel when they legit, you know, she had pulled me over, nigga. That would find something. I wish you would, you know, find something to incriminate me to give me a ticket. So I was on my high horse, you know. Like, what what can you do to me? He pulls me over. Oh yeah, you didn't use your turning signal. Motherfucker, I was in the turning lane. You was right behind me, and you didn't have a blinker on. So what the fuck is the issue? You know what I'm saying? I got somewhere to be. What? What the fuck do you want? Like, seriously. Like, what the fuck could you possibly want with me? For the... You are you were in the turning lane. I was in the turning lane. What do you need a signal for? You're waiting for a specific arrow to turn. You don't need a signal. You know, I'm in the lane. That That's my signal there that I'm turning. Now, I could... I just, you know, I'm still not getting over that part. I'm still scoring. Then he gets on the other, the left side of me, not in my lane. He jokes forward, falls back, you know, do that like 50, 11 times. And then he swoops over to me and pulls me the fuck over. So I'm like, what? You know, what do you want? You know, he says that. You turn the lane, whoop, whoop, turn in the wrong lane. Okay, you turn in the same lane as me. So that makes two wrongs, right? Two wrongs don't make a right. So what? My point exactly. You should have kept on going with your life. Then he, oh, you can't listen to your headphones while you're in the car because, you know, you might not hear 
uh, sirens and shit. Okay, understandable. I snatch them out. Okay, what else do you want? I'm not trying to argue with you. And I'm not trying to argue about you either, but I have to be somewhere, like a job. What? What do you want? He, he mad, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, well, next time, just put the headphone in your right ear so I won't see it. For what? For you to get on the right side of me and pull me over and say that you had a headphone in your right ear? No, sir. My God, just let me go. So I go. I make it to work one minute late. And at this job, one minute, you get a point. You know, it's on the point systems and shit. So I'm mad. You know, this motherfucker that made me accumulate a point. Twelve points, you point out. I'm already at nine and a half. So you didn't added another half. So I'm at ten. Two more, I'm gone. I work, I'm working, woofy woop, woofy woop. Hi, welcome to Oriental Trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 9 a.m., make it three hours, been there. Bitch, come tap me, log off your phone. Usually that means, okay, yeah, that means something. Then she don't want me to take my stuff, you know, that's kind of fishy. Then she walks me through the call center. Far as fuck, I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, me joking, the walk of shame. She's like, why does everybody say that? Because apparently it is. And then you take me to human resources. N nigga, I don't need, nigga, neon colors, flashing lights and shit to get a clue, you know. My light bulb was on when you tapped me and said log off your phone, bitch, you know what I'm saying? You're not about to give me a raise and make me CEO of the company and shit. You didn't come with balloons and a camera, and a camera crew, so I know you about to let me go. They like, oh yeah, we no longer don't need the seasonal people. Okay, you could have told me this yesterday. Because you probably knew it on Monday. You know what I'm saying? You could have told me this yesterday. I didn't got my ass up at 4.15. Worked three hours on y'all clock for y'all to let me go. They gonna ask me, do I have a ride? Because they was gonna uh, send me home on a text. No, I don't got, I don't need no ride. I got a car in the parking lot. So, you know, they escort me out, nigga, like I didn't, uh, uh, motherfucking stole some money or something. I get out of the, there, you know, I'm fired, okay, I, I laugh, first time I've ever been fired, so I wasn't tripping, I get out of there, I use my, go to use my phone, doom, 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 cricket, my phone's fucking cut off, y'all, I paid my bills doing a tenth, $65.82, why the fuck is my phone cut off, so you know, I'm like having a horrible day, just got pulled over, fired, phone's cut off, get to the cricket store, they're closed, have to wait there to get it open, get home, this is the clincher, y'all. I love y'all. I'm sharing my... These niggas, I pull up to my driveway. Nigga, M-U-D. For those of y'all who do not know, that's Metropolitan Utilities something. They didn't cut a nigga petrol off. A nigga's gas, dog. Yes, I said it. They cut my gas off. But you know what? I paid my bill, and my shit is back on. But still, besides the point, I was having a horrible fucking day. That's not right. So my day was full of, full of shit, full of shit, but I'm better, I'm just jobless, you know, all over again, starting all over, but you know a nigga like me, I don't stay down for too long, as Monica say, I'm still standing, so yeah, a nigga was, Gotta spit and shit. A nigga, uh, kind of had a day, nigga. I guess I had a bad day. But, I'll be alright. If it don't kill you, it make you stronger, dog. I ain't tripping. But yeah, I wanted to get on here and go stupid ham. But, um, I laid low and waited till today to express myself. Just know that things is taken care of. I got gas. My phone is working. I just ain't got a job. So if any of y'all got any positions open, holler at me. I ain't really tripping, though. I'm doing this school thing. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Got a few minutes. YouTube in this partnership, I guess... You can't be a partner if you cuss and shit. So I wouldn't qualify. But I will tell you, YouTube, you need to um, redo your criteria. You might want, you know, it's always that one hood nigga in the family. Just like it's always that one crackhead, you know. So I think y'all got room to make niggas like me, niggas like Brian, because I love that channel, and all these other motherfuckers that cuss, you know. Bye. Time running out.